Come, come a little closer to me, baby girl. <laughs> Good morning, and welcome to Strong's Little Farmhouse. If you <laughs> Always the clown. If you're new here, we bought a 101 year old farmhouse that we are trying to restore and renovate and it's taking a lot of work, a little more than we had planned. One of the big issues we've had is dealing with pests. I'm sure you've seen some of our previous videos. It has been a struggle. Starting this spring when we moved in, uh, there was a lot of activity. Throughout the summer it's been really calm, but we have since learned that now that it's fall on the homestead, those critters are going to be looking for residences. And they have a history of our residence, so we don't want that this year. So we're going to do some temporary pest management that's an upgrade from what the previous owner did, but not it's not really going to be our final fix. So this is the backside of our 101 year old farmhouse. And as you can see, there is plenty of work for us to do on this thing. The siding has to be replaced. All the soffits have to be replaced. We do actually have to re-roof and do some fixing of the timbers in the roof, but it's fine for right now. The number one thing we have to fix is this half assed, pardon my language, attempt at blocking holes and passageways under the house. This is where the skunk got in in the spring and we do not want that to happen again. But this whole side of the house has this sort of gerrymandering, jerry-rigging of trying to cover the hole. So we're going to do a much better job. We've already sort of temporarily fixed the crawl spaces so uh, animals aren't getting in there but they still want to dig underneath and so all this has to be fixed now yesterday mark went around and filled a lot of the holes in the plastic siding like i said has to all still be fixed uh, with spray foam that's the number one thing you got to do first is plug holes and then the second thing is fix this area where they can dig in. So that's our goal. So the first thing we got to do is remove all of this debris from the edge of the base. Find out how, how big a holes we got to deal with. We may have to do some backfilling. And then we're going to use these paper stones to set down along the edge. Now this is not foolproof for sure. We don't have the time right now because we're still in the middle of the barn build. So we got to do a fast fix and then this spring, we'll put in, um, what is that card? Hardware cloth that'll go down underneath the soil. Okay, so using wood to <laughs> control pests around the base of your wood house, not a good plan because this just encourages termites. We do not need that <laughs> at this house. So, Wood has got to go. Wow. Yeah, this one too. This is where the skunks are getting. There goes the big spider friend. Yowza. That's where skunks and stuff get in, in some big holes like that. Yeah, so we've removed a few of the rocks and bricks and wood and shingles and plastic siding that they have just shoved into these holes trying to trying to fix it instead of actually fixing it. So we're going to do a much better job. So even though our fix is also going to be uh, semi half assed if you want to say, it's not a, a perfect fix where you would dig down and put hardware cloth or fencing or something that goes down under the ground. Um, but this is gonna work for now because of timing. So 
fall is here, it's got to get done, but we also have to keep working on the barn because that's got to get dried in before the real wet weather comes. Oh, I just blocked you. <laughs> peek, peek, peek. <laughs> anyway, so no messing around, Mark. We got to get to work. Let's yeah. go. No, we're not gonna. We're not gonna do it half-ass. This is Strong's little farmhouse. We're gonna do it whole-ass. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do it wrong first and then fix it later because that's, that's how we roll. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we've got the bulk of the debris away from the base of the house, we are going to rake the ground, kind of level it out, fix the siding that's been shoved under the house, pull that forward, and then we're going to fill in some of these holes. Okay, so now that we've pulled back all the debris from this edge, now we can make a plan about how low the ground has got to go and how much we've got to fill to get everything level to cover up the digging spots. <laughs> You want to say something about that? Uh, well, we got a problem with this vine. I don't know what kind of vine. I think in Oregon we might have called this creeping Jenny, but I don't know. But it has worked its way up through the whole house, this whole side. When we redo the siding, we're going to have a lot of this up in the wall that ripped down. It's all the way up through the rafters and stuff. We can do it. Yep because we're the only ones that are going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> While Mark is getting another load of gravel, I'm going to take the tamper and pack down what he's already put in for fill. Well, I'm mostly concerned about rats. The, the big and scuffles. Well, rats. Mice, there, any mouse can get in under this house just by going through the front. There's no stopping well, that. Well, that's true. We just have to stop the big critters from being able to get under there. Okay, we're going to need a little gravel under here to. Because it's so wobbly. What about that gravel that's under your heel right there? Oh, Okay, so we got our pavers laid across the front here. Now we're going to put some rock and stone right in front of these pavers so they don't just dig under the pavers. Well, it's about one o'clock and we just got finished on this side of the house. Whew, it's hot. It's muggy. We're expecting rain the rest of this week. It was supposed to start raining already today, but we're glad it didn't rain because we got this job done, so that's good. 
We have to do the back side of the house tomorrow. Hopefully nobody will burrow between then, <laughs> now and then, but uh, we got it done. So that's good. <laughs> you can see how quickly we are losing shade on this side of the house. It's one o'clock. So everything is whew, gonna be out in the sun soon, but we're very happy. We got this entire side of the house set with the pavers. I think it looks so nice. Along here, we do have to do a little bit of backfilling yet with more gravel along these pavers. And we even got the pavers set in the back there. And pavers all along here. So we're pretty happy with how all this has come out. So we just need some gravel from that corner and along the front of these pavers. And we'll be set for this side of the house. <laughs> now, this side of the house was our priority because this is where we've had some serious burrow attempts and successes <laughs> on this side of the house. We have not had as much trouble on this back side. Half of the house has pavement along the back. And then right here used to be a, well, we called it a lean-to because it was a piece of crap shed, but, um, and it was disintegrating, but we ripped that down. You may have seen that in a previous video. So we have yet to figure out what we're going to do here, either take that sidewalk all the way down or put pavers here as well. We don't want to spend a lot of money on pavers because we're going to just pull them all up to put in the actual hardware cloth underneath the siding, but that's still a ways away. So we're trying to figure out most cost effective and fastest way to get this done. Well, we'll work on that. We'll see you on the next video of Strong's Little Farmhouse. Maybe we'll have a solution by then. I hope you keep watching. We're enjoying sharing with you our experiences here, creating a homestead and fixing this 101 year old farmhouse. I hope you're liking it too. Like and share, subscribe, all that stuff. You know what to do, just do it.